Good day, everybody. Welcome to The Faithful Studios. I am Tyson, and today I'm going to run you through something uh, that it can be found on Amazon. I think there's a little bit of a good deal here for a new beard comer, maybe with No Shave November coming up, a beard kit or a Christmas present. And then we're going to run through a couple different beard straighteners here and uh, give you my opinion on the difference between a smaller one and a bigger one and what they can possibly do for your beard. So we're going to get into that right after this. All right, so I got my beard all, it, it's dry. I have beard oil in it, um, but it's a little bit crazy here. So I wanna run through the beard straighteners. Now I've used these before and Tame the Wild reached out to me and said, we have two new beard straighteners that we kinda pride ourselves on uh, for different length beards, different temperature settings, and we wanna know if you'll do a review on them. So I said, sure, you know, uh, beard straighteners are a hot topic in the beard community, um, whether it be wireless ones, non-wireless ones, uh, different sizes, prices, and things like that. So I wanted to give them an opportunity, get them in hand, see if maybe there was something revolutionary here, maybe something different, or just straight up how they worked on my beard. I haven't used a beard straightener in a while, so I wanted to jump into this and give it a shot. So the first one uh, that I decided to use was this little guy right here. And I decided to use this one first just because I like the smaller form factor in my hands. Um, I like that it has this swivel cord on it so you can turn this guy all the way around. So when you look at this, you have orange and black here and you have their branding of Tame the Wild. I really didn't know much about this company when I started uh, looking at, uh, when they reached out to me, asked me to do these uh, reviews. I, I didn't know anything about the company. I never really heard of them before. Um, they are found on Amazon, so I can uh, put the links below for their Amazon. But when you look at this, you know, you got these uh, plastic bristles here. Um, they seem decent to me. I mean, the overall style of it is is fine. You got an on off button right here with a couple LED lights that tell you the temperature and when it's ready. So I'm going to do this side of my beard with this brush real quick and just kind of the normal way that I would beard uh, straighten uh, my beard. So I'm going to look over to the side just a little bit here because I have uh, a mirror to where I can see my my face, but I'll try to get try to show you guys basically how I do it. Now, this, I can go like this. It's not too terribly hot, and I do have it on the lowest heat setting. I find that heat settings are different for your style of beard. So if you have a very dense, thick beard that um, maybe the hair is extremely curly um, and you're really trying to get those out, you might want a higher heat setting. I have thinner hair, so meaning the diameter of my hair is smaller than uh, some guys with really big diameter hair. So my hair is fine is how I would consider it. I would say it's fine. Now beard straighteners work different for me, but I have the issue where I can't over apply heat. Like it will make my beard wispy and straight and fragile feeling. And so I have to really be careful when I use a beard straightener. Guys with bigger diameter hair volicles and hairs and that beards are maybe more dense, they can go with a higher heat and a little bit slower uh, of a feel. So it's really something where you have to kind of play around with it. And I've done extensive experimenting with different beard straighteners and length of time and heat settings. So let's jump into this guy right here. It's heated up. It takes, you know, just a few, um, you know, 30 seconds to a minute to get to full temperature. You got the swivel cord, so I have it plugged in right under here. You got a pretty decent, I mean, the cord doesn't feel cheap or anything like that. I'm going to look over here and I'm just going to kind of, I'm just going to kind of get it on my face and my beard. Now you want to make sure when you're using a beard straightener that you have something in your beard to protect it. Heat can cause damage. So the big thing that I recommend, you know, you'll see people selling like heat sprays or, you know, stuff like that. I don't think you need anything special like a heat shield or heat spray. Just use a good quality beard oil 
and you're going to uh, see the protecting. Beard oil has natural heat protecting um, properties and qualities in it, so you don't need anything special just for that. So for me, I'm just going to kind of brush it through, and this heat is just kind of warming up my beard and, and straightening it out a little bit here. Nothing uh, too crazy. I can't do too much. Now, I do have this wave here, and if you're straightening and you go down and you go with your jawline like this, you're going to put that wave in there. And so a lot of times I'll go up, and you can go nice and slow, and then I would just grab a brush and kind of brush it back down and you would have something like that. Now, I'm not in my bathroom with great lighting and I have to look over to the side uh, like this and when I do that I can't see this side of my face necessarily. I'm kind of looking out of the corner of my eye. I, I know the hair straighter. I can see it. I can see like right here. You can see where I've been brushing and it's pulling the hair straighter. So if I were to kind of do more of the front right here, you're gonna see it uh, kind of straighten out, okay? So it's getting the hair straight, and this is not my full routine. The whole purpose is to show you that it can get it straight. Now what I tend to find when I use a straightener is you see right here, uh, some of this hair is starting to like get a wave and come out, and it, I just need a little bit more uh, time in the, in the mirror to kind of get this out and to get it to lay down. But this is starting to show me that I'm putting too much heat in and the hair is starting to get wispy and straight and it's pulling all the moisture out of it, it's getting dry. And so it's starting to show me that I'm going too much. Now this is just a problem I have with my finer hair. It's, it's a finer hair thing. I don't think it's anything necessarily against the heat brush. I get this with all heat brushes. Um, it's just getting too much heat uh, into my hair and doing it too much. So this one, as far as the size though, it feels really good in my hand and it does the job that it's supposed to do. Um, you do see a little bit of steam coming from there. That's just my beard oil that's in my hair and it's it's uh, heating up and starting to steam a little bit. Um, not a big deal, nothing to be alarmed of. It's just a little bit of beard oil. So that's that side. So I'm just going to turn that off here. You have this button. Again, you can see the different heat settings here. It's blinking, showing that it's heating up to that setting. Um, but I'm just going to turn it off here. All right, so this guy's off, and I'm going to set it to the side over here. And then you have this guy here. So this one's quite a bit bigger. You have their Tame the Wild uh, branding right here. You have a lot uh, deeper of bristles. And they say this is for like a two-inch or more, you know, in length beard. And then you have a digital display, tells you where you where your temperature's at. You have a plus and a minus button to increase or decrease the temperature, and then your power button. Again, you have that swivel cord right here. So I don't think these are make or break, but they're really nice. So when your cord doesn't get tangled up when it's plugged in, you're kind of throwing it around, you know, like, you know, after after a while of using this and leaving it plugged in, the cord's just become a jumbled nightmare. Well, that doesn't happen with this because you have the swivel. Again, it doesn't feel bad in the hand. It's it's quite a bit bigger of a paddle. And just to kind of show you like the difference here, I mean, it's quite a bit bigger of a paddle. So you're going to get um, more coverage area. You're going to get deeper in there if you have that really thick uh, beard or even that long beard that you want to brush down. Now, I, again, I recommend don't press too hard against your face because then you're going to get that ripple in the jawline. Well, I kind of already have it in there today because I haven't done anything with my beard. I didn't blow dry it or anything. I just washed it. It naturally kind of uh, waves right here. So to get that out, um, I generally would uh, kind of be looking in the mirror and kind of going up right at this jawline and getting that hair in the opposite direction with heat. And you can see, again, the beard oil steaming a little bit. And again, this is not really hot on the face or anything, but you can see how big this is to my face. Like, I prefer the smaller one uh, just because my face structure, and I'm a, I mean, I'm a smaller dude, so this brush tends to be a little bit big for me. Um, but again, you can see that it's it's straightening, straightening out my hair, and my hair is kind of already straight. It's wavy at the jawline, but pretty much for the most part straight. But you can go in different directions. Like if you push it forward like this, you can even go backwards. What you really want to do is wherever you have a curve or a line or anything like that, you want to go in the opposite direction. So you want to just kind of get that hair flowing in the opposite direction of the wave and the curve. 
And again, as you can see, I still have the curve here, but I'm starting to get too much heat here because this hair is right here starting to just kind of stick out and not want to stick down. So I would follow up with like some balm, you know, or butter or something like that to kind of uh, put it into, to kind of hold it into, into place there. But for me personally, I really kind of struggle with heat brushes. It's almost too much heat for me. You can do this too much and then your hair just kind of gets uh, f more fine and dried out. It, it feels thinner and then it starts to look thinner as well too. It kind of just straightens it and you get that transparent effect because your hairs, you know, maybe they're all tangled together kind of like this. It looks thicker. You can't see through it. You straighten them out and they kind of open up like this. Then you can start to see through them. You see what I mean? Again, that's not a knock necessarily on these brushes. Uh, I get that deal with all heat brushes. So I'm just extremely careful how I heat brush. Um, but again, it's something to experiment with. Now with this brush in particular, the thing that I kind of question, I'm just going to turn it off here real quick. Uh, just by pressing the power button here. The thing is with this, just looking at the label here and everything, it, it looks just like a, a, a different heat brush that I have purchased off of Amazon. And maybe they stuck their sticker on. I don't know. I don't know the backstory of it, but it, it just looks like something else that I've already purchased from Amazon at some point and that they just kind of put their branding on. If that's the case, that's fine. You know, that's that's uh, marketing and, and how we do business. I mean, it, we, they don't claim to make it in the house. They don't claim that they make this brush. They just sell a heat brush. Um, so as far as I know, it's not developed and created by them and then sold. It's basically they're going to buy it most likely off of like a, a big website, buy it in bulk, slap their sticker on it and resell it. Now, I'm OK with that just for the fact of that's how a lot of businesses work. They don't necessarily make everything themselves. They purchase it in bulk, they relabel it, and they resell it to make a profit. With the with this particular brush, now if they were selling this at 100 bucks and claiming it was theirs, I would say, okay, let's call your bluff on this. But it sells on Amazon for like $34. So I, I mean, it's right on par with every other type of little heat brush that is this style and design on, on Amazon. So I don't see a problem with that. The nice part is if you like Tame the Wild and you get into their stuff, you're really gonna, uh, you know, you have an opportunity to continue with their branding and, and everything along those lines. Something that I do really like from Tame the Wild is they have this travel kit. And I feel like this is good for, again, new beginners into the beard world or gift giving. So it comes in this pouch just like this. And it's a, actually a really decent quality little pouch. It's a nice little travel pouch, um, whether you use the products or not. It's a decent little travel pouch. This might become my travel pouch. I, I I don't know. We'll see. But when you open it up, you just unzip it here. It's got a nice little zipper. It feels like good quality. You open it up, and what you have in here is a boar bristle brush, a bar of soap that smells amazing. You have a balm and oil and a double-sided comb. So, again, I think this runs for 30 bucks. I'm not 100% sure right off the top of my head. I just looked it up too and I already forgot. Maybe it's $35. I'm not I don't remember. It's right in that price range. Maybe it was $25. $20, 25, 30, 35. Anywhere in that price range. Again, I'll link it below with the price um, so you can check it out for yourself. But any one of those situations, it's a pretty good deal cuz you get this nice little case. So let's just start with the first things first. You get a 1 ounce bottle of beard oil and I do actually kind of like their logo I think it's pretty pretty unique you got a waterproof label on here you got this little gold kind of thing around the the dropper um, I think it looks pretty classy pretty fine I'm going to read the ingredients your average Joe is not going to be able to read these ingredients it's in all side scientific terms so if you don't necessarily know what you're looking for in a beard oil or what the scientific term for jojoba oil is or um, macadamia nut oil or anything like that, you're probably not going to necessarily understand um, what's in here, but it's a base off of jojoba oil, and this is an unscented uh, beard oil. So you got premium natural blend beard oil, and when I show this to you, I mean, it's, it's pretty clear. There's no uh, smell with it at all. It didn't feel bad in the beard. If you like jojoba oil, it's going to feel just like a, a standard jojoba oil. And there's no bad ingredients or anything like that in here. So again, for your beginner beardsman that's just getting into the game or gift giving ideas that you want something with a little bit of presentation, uh, I think this would be a good fit. 
then you jump into the bomb here. And I do like the black twist top lids. I think the black tins just look cool. I think their logo looks cool. You got the black and the orange, just kind of like a Harley Davidson uh, look and feel to me. And when you open up their bomb, um, you get that, it, it almost resembles Vaseline. Um, and again, no scent on it, but the ingredients in here are fine. This is gonna be your low to zero hold bomb. It's almost more like a beard butter. And if you don't know what a beard butter is, it's more for moisturizing, you know, coating your beard, but not necessarily for styling, all right? You have a twist top, you have the light hold beard balm that they call it, and again, no scent in here. There is a little bit of beeswax, but um, it, it provides a zero hold. I think it's just in there kind of for, for texture to help hold everything together. Um, but there's also uh, canuba wax in here, and that one got me a little bit because I don't see that a ton in in a lot of bombs. Canuba wax is in a lot of things that we would utilize in um, cosmetics. Um, there's even some foods with canuba wax in it. So I'm not I, I'm not alarmed with that. It's probably just a cheaper way um, they can buy in bulk and to help uh, get the form factor. So again, not it, it, it's nothing to be alarmed of. I don't feel like, and um, I, as you can see, I use this stuff and. I felt just uh, just fine with it. So, and then you get a double-sided wooden comb. Now, wooden combs, you kind of see a lot of beard companies um, selling wooden combs and dealing with wooden combs. Um, I don't particularly use wooden combs myself, but for the beginner beardsman, they're they're really nice. And so, the kind of the purpose of a wooden comb is anti-static, right? So when you're brushing through, you're not creating a bunch of static in your beard. And that's pretty much the purpose of the wooden comb and they're pretty cheap to make. So they don't have any uh, snags, snarls, anything like that. They're not like stamp pressed to where when they, they peel out the, the stamp of a plastic comb and it leaves ridges or any little tiny piece of plastic that can grab your hair. Um, you don't necessarily see that with wooden combs. The biggest thing that you could see is you could have really weak ones that you could just go like this and snap or you could have really pretty solid ones. Now, I think if I put a decent amount of force into this, I could snap it, but I mean, I'm, I'm putting a decent amount in here that I don't think this thing's gonna really break unless maybe you keep it in your back pocket and you sit on it a few times, maybe on a hard chair, maybe you'll snap it. But this is a pretty solid uh, wooden comb, and it's nice that it comes in this kit and you can get it for your beginner beardsman just like that. Then you have a boar bristle brush, and every beardsman needs a boar bristle brush. Um, I use these more as a finishing brush. So after I have my oil and my balm in, you know, I'm going to go like this and kind of just get any of those little hairs sticking out. Um, this kind of helps push them down and bring them into the rest of the beard. And this doesn't really like pull in your beard or realistically go that deep to the skin. Um, some can, but this is more of a softer bristle to where you're not going to get that really down to the skin. If you were to get a harder bristle borders brush, you could get it down to the skin uh, with with the bristles and get some stimulation on the skin, get some blood flow flowing. But this one's going to be more your finishing type where you're just going on the outside of your beard to get those flyaways, those straggler hairs pressed down and styled uh, with the rest. And again, this seems pretty solid. You have the Tame the Wild branding on there. So it's kind of like stamped in there. So I think the star of the show is this soap though. It felt really good. It left me feeling uh, squeaky clean, but still pretty conditioned and it smells really good. So this is like their orange walnut and it has a really nice orange citrus scent to it, but it has chunks of walnut in it. So if you can see those black speckles, it's speckles of walnut. What that does is it Maybe there's some health benefits or maybe there's some conditioning or some maybe there's some benefits of walnut that I don't know about But for me, it just provides a little bit of texture So when you're soaping you kind of get some of those granules of the walnut and it just kind of expo Exfoliates a little bit and just feels really good. Um, so this soap a little sticky in my hands here because it's been in the shower But it smells really good. Um, this is a scent. I do really like in the shower it fills that shower up with that citrus scent and I I I just happen to really like that. So here you have this little kit here. And again, for like $25, I think this is pretty good for a beginner beardsman that doesn't have any combs, doesn't have uh, maybe a soap or a boar bristle brush. And you have this nice little presentation kit so you can gift it to them, maybe a stocking stuffer. 
overall, I, I would recommend hitting up your small batch companies that uh, are making this stuff um, by hand. I don't know if this is made by hand or by machinery on an assembly line. I don't really have any idea. But for an Amazon find, I think this is a pretty good little deal. For a first-time beardsman, you're buying gifts, you're up on Amazon. This kit will get the job done for you and introduce somebody into the beard game and do it correctly. It's not one of those... Uh, cheaper kits or you know even same price kits on Amazon that uses a bunch of bad ingredients this stuff uses really good ingredients and so being able to get this off of Amazon with that uh, prime shipping is a big benefit and it's quality products for somebody wanting to get into the beer game I wish a lot more sellers on Amazon would do you know something along this line with quality stuff uh, so we're not putting bad stuff out there uh, for beginner beardsmen and maybe scaring them off or something. So this is a good one to start. Unscented, so keep that in mind. Maybe they have some other scents on there, but this is the one that I saw and, and got from them. And then they have the beard straightener brushes, which they're diving into as well. Um, again, I'm not hugely proactive with a beard straightening brush because of my the diameter of my beard hair it's thinner but a lot of guys really do like them i just urge you i caution you i wouldn't use a beard straightener every day i you're gonna thin out your beard you're gonna go you know from like this you're gonna kind of pull those hairs out like this you're gonna get some transparency and it's just doesn't look quite as good in my humble opinion so i have some links below go ahead and check them out if you want let me know below do you guys use a beard straightener? Have you used one before? And what do you think? What are your guys' thoughts on beard straighteners? Let's have some friendly conversation around that. Let's toss the idea back around. Does, do these straighteners look good for you? Would you pick that small one or would you pick that wider one and get more work done, less passes through your beard? Let me know what you think below. And until I talk to you guys again soon, you have a fantastic rest of your day. And God bless you all.